Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new here. To my current subscribers, welcome back. And uh, I have another track by Cubs of the Small and Amifaku. I do not have the official title of this track, has hence it is not yet been released. I don't know why I said hence, but the track has not been released yet. So I'm going to use a title called Yini because there's a repetition of the lyrics Yini in the song. So I have a beat that's about a minute and 10 seconds long. I'm going to play on that beat and then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to get into the details of the chord without wasting any more of your time, guys. guys so the first chord of this track is a straightforward chord an f minor chord that is why i wrote only two pdfs those two pdfs should, should actually cover you in terms of making chord you can actually make a four chord progression with the knowledge that i have given you on the pdf so the first chord is an f minor chord right and then the second chord is actually an interval it's an interval. So what is an interval? An interval is when you, it's like, this one is a major third. We also have what we call minor thirds, but I call them intervals, depending on how many semitones. These are the semitones in between, the in-between notes uh, of the interval, right? This is an interval because you don't want to play the full chord. It's just how the track was made play this interval and then the next one is this one you see there on the screen it says it's detecting a major seventh chord it is actually right but I'm not gonna discuss that now I'm just gonna use it as an interval because this is what I'm hearing when I listen to the song right and then the last chord it's a B flat minor seventh chord right and then when Gabza comes back, he plays the nine on the F minor chord, right? You see that it says F minor and nine. So where does that nine come from? You see, when you count up in the key of F minor, right? You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to teach you how to do that, guys. You count up to seven, right? Seven is the last note of the key F minor. And then eight is the octave. And then... Uh, 9 is the 9 that we're actually talking about. 10 is uh, 10, 10, 10, come on. 10 is, it's an inversion. 11 is a voicing. 12 is an inversion. And then 13 is a voicing. If you stick around this channel, you're going to learn all of that. So let's do that one more time. It's an F minor, an interval, E major third. Major seventh chord, it's a D major third actually, and then B minor seventh chord, and then when you come back for the second time, you play F minor and nine, and then so what this is is actually a rootless voicing. You see, on my right hand, I still have 
and F minor. And then on the left hand, I'm just playing this note. This note is, should I say, permissible. This note is actually allowed. Its, it's tone, is, it's, it's, uh, it sounds right because it's diatonic. What does diatonic mean? This note falls in the key of F minor. That is why it's not giving me any weird sounds, right? And then a D flat major seven chord. You see where that uh, seventh chord comes from? This is the full chord of it. But when we play it for the first time, you just play this major third. And then for the second part of the chord progression, you play a major seventh chord, right? So it's Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for making time to watch this video. I hope you learned something. Um, as I've said about the PDF, I am going to put my number back on the YouTube channel depending on how many people request the PDF. Without saying any more, thank you. I hope to see you in the next video.